There was so much criticism with it, and he kind of just let it go. And like he goes, well, this is good, but there was a lot of issues that still could have mm -hmm. been like addressed, and like it would have should have been addressed. But like some of the good things where he's like, he's like attacked Congress and saying like they're slow and stuff. Like they've mm -hmm. he's challenged them, which I think is good because not all presidents do that. But I think it's BS. Like I don't think like why would you say that, especially. And like, kind of, it's kind of like maybe a racist statement about basketball, but like, why would you say that in basketball in the NBA, where mostly everyone in the NBA is black? They are, I mean, they are not, they're not all black, but mostly the best players, they are. Mm -hmm. And most, like, most of your team is, so why, why in a sport, in a business that you are associated with, why would you say that? Mm -hmm. And especially to a girlfriend, to your girlfriend, mm -hmm. which is part black and part Mexican, like, mm -hmm. I don't understand mm -hmm. that. Does racism exist? Oh yeah, most definitely. With the whole Cobra thing, that proves it right there. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's all over the place. Like you just like if you look hard enough, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't even have to look that hard. You'll see it. Mm -hmm. I have some black friends. Like I mean, like like this, I'm, like joking with them. And, like he goes, oh, like, what do you want to eat? And I'm just like fried chicken. <laughs> do white people eat fried chicken? Yeah. Do you know, want to know why? Because it's fucking amazing. <laughs> in the past and still currently, like African Americans, like when they first came in, like they obviously struggled because they were, if they came in, were slaves, but they were immigrants. And like as immigrants, you don't have the money to be wealthy. So what do you have to do if you need food? You buy cheaper fast food. So like KFC, that's a good choice. KFC is really good. Like fried chicken's awesome. Mm -hmm. Like I like I love it. It's so good. So like it's cheaper too. So it's like oh, so like you know like. In lower uh, income families, like that's what they can get if they go out to eat. So then I guess it created that stereotype, and then mm -hmm. that stereotype just continues. Mm -hmm. like, but like, it's just good. People, everyone enjoys it really, mm -hmm. unless you don't really like fried chicken. But then you're weird. Would you date outside of your race? A black girl walking down the street next to a white girl, more nine times out of ten, I'll probably find that white girl more attractive. Mm -hmm. If Beyonce came walking in here, I'd be. You know, I'd walk out with it. Okay. <laughs> like it's like I don't have an issue with it. Like it's just that most of the times I don't find like other people of other races mm -hmm. that track. What about Hispanics? Hispanics, um, I mean, same same deal. I mean there are like it's the same deal. It's like I find white girls most of the time more attractive Dang. than other races, but at the same time, Why if is I find... It, what is it, the ism? I guess it's maybe because I'm white, I don't know. Maybe it's just it's like, because that's just like, you find like certain features, like, because obviously when you're black, you have different features, not just the color of your skin, just mm -hmm. because that's in your genes. What's, what's, what are the different features? I mean, like, um, just say like people, like, uh, you can always tell like someone's nose, like, like a lot of times, like, black person's nose is a lot wider. Most of the times, like, uh, like where like a white person's nose is like smaller, and like you know, like if you're Jewish, you know, you get that stereotype where you have a really pointy nose and all that okay. stuff like that. The mayor of New York, New York City, mm -hmm. is an interracial, is married to a black woman and has two kids. Mm -hmm. So like, what does that say? That's, I mean, he's already there. He's a mayor. They voted him as the mayor. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've seen the daughter, but like, she's. I mean. She's fine. She's alright. Like, but again, like I'm not attracted to her. It's just mm -hmm. not, like something. What is the difference between black people and white people? You think? Because we we still live so separately, and black people live in like those third, like not like in poverty, mo like most of the time, because that's the way. Like I said, like they, it's only been so recent that they got their civil rights and all that stuff. It's only been 50 years. Mm -hmm. If you think about it. Anyone who was new to this country had a struggle at first. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like I can see it getting better. So it's like it's hard to compare them because it's a lot of times it's a different money situation. So you're living in different areas, and that's where the difference comes in. Do you think white people are better educated than black people, or any other minority? Um, better educated. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say yes. Only because, like I said, it comes with where you live. If you don't live in a good neighborhood, mm -hmm. they have very little money to give to schools, which means the schools are worse. If you live in a better neighborhood, of course the schools would be better. But um, better educated, I would say yeah, just because the schools are better. It's not that um, like white people are just naturally smarter. Than mm -hmm. white. It's, that's not the case. I think there should have been some guilt involved, but like there was some, some guilt. Do you? I because I think there's so many charges. Like, I know there was a couple, like, I don't feel like murder, I felt like, would be wrong. I mean, like, um, involuntary manslaughter or something like that, where it's like, you didn't really need, I mean, granted, who knows if you meant to or not, but like, it was self-defense in a way. 
it was you believe was self defense. Not in a way where he was like, well, he did. If he even if he got into the, he was the one who started the altercation. It's still self defense because he fought back. So I think the reason why he followed him was a hundred percent wrong. Okay. Where it was like, granted, he was a neighborhood watch, but he was blatantly told by the nine one one operator, do not approach him, do not follow him. We will send a cop to your location. Mm -hmm. Just, but like he ignored that and he went anyway. Like he, either if he said something or continued to follow him, that mm -hmm. made Trayvon either turn around and say something, even if he started, it doesn't matter, he didn't listen. So I think he's, there is some fault behind it, but 100%, I don't know. But mm -hmm. it's so, a strong fault. I would say it's above 50% of fault on guilt of him. Mm -hmm. And granted, it's hard to say, well, of course his parents will say, like as anyone's parents will mostly say, he's a good kid. Mm -hmm. He would never do that mm -hmm. because even if he would do that, parents don't like to believe that. Do you think that the case was uh, as big as it was because it was dealing with an African American boy and a Hispanic man? Yes. If it was white on white, Hispanic on Hispanic, black on black, it would not have been a big deal at all. I'm Marcus Ward, and this is Matt Theregan, and <laughs> this is the Marcus Ward show. Oh. Oh my god. No, no, actually, no, 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 you missed one thing. Say it again. This is the what? The Marcus Ward Show. Okay, good. Wait, did you say it the first time? I did say it the first time. Oh, okay, time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. So I, was, I, was, I, was, I mean, I have a big head. I mean, you know, this, my head's huge. Like, can, I, can I feel it? Can you, you okay. want to you know, If you, okay. you want to know, I wear a size 8 hat. Size 8 hat? Yeah, so you know, like, you get a fitted hat, uh -huh. size 8. Okay. It's like, the biggest size? size. I'm, I have a it's small like hat. It's the biggest size. I got the... The, the, yeah. the, uh, the double palm, the palm yes. <laughs> the peanut. So you you have a big head, yeah. as you say. You were teased for that. Yeah, and like they call me like airhead, like candy. Like the candy, yeah. like the candy. big red. Yeah, airhead, big head. Um, what else? I mean, there was just a bunch of different things, but like that was like the main one. Really? That's like airhead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's mean. That's very mean. Right. I mean, did that affect? Your self esteem, like, yeah, it did. Okay, it, like in sixth and seventh grade, I was like hated it, like, it was like, like a head reduction. Okay, like, that's not possible. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> but like when I do get angry and I let myself get angry, I'm a very loud person, mm -hmm. and like, I will, like, I'll, I'll hit, scream, I'll scream, and I'll hit something, like, I won't hit like a person, I'm normally pretty controlled, but like, I'll hit the wall, like, I'll hit the wall or something, mm -hmm. and I've dented my washing machine, and my washing machine, I threw a chair into it once because I was really angry. When did you realize? A big head. A big head? Yeah. I mean, um, I guess if I was like, I don't know, I've always had a big head, so I, okay. it's just it's something, it's something. I, okay. it's something I knew, and like as a kid you just didn't like, because mm -hmm. like, you know, in kindergarten, you'd be like, oh, you have a big head, or like, you have weird, like, cans, or like, weird, but like, mm -hmm. you didn't think about it until like, later, when they like, continually make fun of me. Continually. Mm -hmm. Did your family ever make jokes? No, no, I mean, we all have big heads, because it's a okay. joke, so, <laughs> so it's like we make big heads together, like, so, it, okay, so, <laughs> so it's in the jeans. Who so. has the biggest head in the family? I think it's my, I don't know, I think it's... Is it mom, dad? No, my mom's pretty normal size, but okay. my dad has a big head, and then it's like, it's kind of like even. Mm -hmm. I think I would have maybe a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. but like, I don't know. My brother has a skinnier body, so his head looks bigger. Bigger, okay. But, have you ever felt like a nerd? No, sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nerdy. I'm Why? a little weird. Because I was always kind of smart. Like, I wasn't like, I got things. Like, I would do well in school. So I was mm -hmm. like, and then the glasses. So I was like, kind of like, you know, fits the nerd. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like, you would describe what a nerd looks like. Mm -hmm. The kid's really smart, wears glasses. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing contacts right now. And, can, can you take them out? Can uh, I, see? I mean, I could, but I mean, it's dirty. Okay. Okay. Like, you I don't have want stuff to clean it. Okay, <laughs> were you popular in school? I wasn't like with the popular kids, like you want to call it that, like that click, you know, it mm -hmm. wasn't that. Mm -hmm. I mean, in high school, a lot of people knew me. I didn't have too many friend friends, like in high school. Weird about me, um, I love superheroes. I'm gonna be honest, like as a kid, of course, like you like them. I still love them. They're my like favorite movies. Like, like Batman, Batman, Spider -Man. Spider -Man. Okay. Like Superman, any movie. If a movie comes out as a superhero movie, I want to see it. Like, okay, I'm there. I'm mm -hmm. like, I want to be there at the like premiere. Have you ever <laughs> felt that you were unattractive? Uh, do you feel really. attractive? Do you feel I do. I do. I talk to a girl and just be like, Yeah, you know, I see the game last night. I know you didn't, but <laughs> I just, I just watched the game last night. What was I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because that's your pick of mine. Hey, you see the game? <laughs> Ladies, did you see the game last night? No, it just doesn't work. That's, that's well, like, I'll get nervous, don't know what to say. They're like, oh, I watched the Yankee game last night. Did you see the Yankee game last night? Mm-hmm. It doesn't work. Well, why are you nervous with girls? I mean, I'm not nervous anymore, but like, I guess, I don't know, I just never knew what to say. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess, like, you know, as a kid, like, you don't know what to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're all another species. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, okay yeah. But now I'm good. Okay. Um, talk to girls. I do well with girls. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I gotta step on my stash up. <laughs> what do you say to those people who've been bullied and who feel that they're weird, that they're nerds? I just be, do you. Just be yourself. Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't really matter what other people think because, like, people are like, oh, I'm weird. There's, like, a hundred, like, you can find 20 other people that have the same interests as you.